It is a lightweight bout between Conor McGregor and Anthony Showtime Pettis. Hello everyone and welcome to a gameplay of UFC 3. It's been a while since I had the gameplay on so this, here he is, the but I do UFC have two more videos I'm going to upload before Anthony I get to Showtime work on Pettis some more gameplays and more combat to win the UFC title. That was August of 2013, but who could forget the off-the-cage kick at WEC 53, also against Henderson. It was that night, December of 2010, that really put Anthony Showtime Pettis on the mixed martial arts map and vaulted him into superstardom. Some adversity since. Showtime Pettis back on the horse tonight, Joe. Anthony Pettis is a very well-rounded fighter. For his stand-up, he trains over Duke Rufus, and he has a very creative and unorthodox game as a striker. He's got a very solid ground game as well. Good wrestling and a sick triangle choke. Well, just by nature of Conor McGregor returning to the UFC, tonight is one of the biggest nights in the history of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Conor McGregor making his return after more than 600 days away. Of course, he dipped his toe into the boxing ring against Floyd Mayweather, but ultimately this is a mixed martial artist, and he is out to prove that he can return to the game the way he left it as the best fighter in the world. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan-favorite combination. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Pettis is two years his senior. McGregor will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live! from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Third round in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Taekwondo fighter, holding a professional record of 21 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, presenting the former UFC lightweight champion, Anthony Showtime! And now we're going to see the opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor. All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is going to go down. Go. Here we go. And how about the buzz in this arena and just the sheer volume from these fans as Conor McGregor makes his return here tonight. Now, how will he approach the early portions of this fight? That is the big question. We know he's had some quick finishes in his UFC career, but a lot of people think they want to feel this thing out and get his feet under him early. He's doing a good job of throwing punches and kicks from all angles here, really doing a great job of mixing things up. Joe, how do you think he approaches this challenge? Anthony Pettis is one of the most dynamic kickers in the game today. Pettis gets caught with that punch. Both men land on that exchange. He's got him right here. Oh, look at this. Who saw that coming? Both guys landing in a pretty decent 
Axel clip. Connor with a beautiful combination. Oh, Huge left, left hand. hand. We'll see if he can follow it up. Well, they made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Oh! oh! Huge uppercut for the win. Yeah, Joe, I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. And here's the end of the fight. Let's look at that again from another angle. And here we see it again. Boom. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at 1 minute, 51 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the no I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is Cameron Sign Off. No say To get his hand raised, he has had doubters every step of the way, and he has muted nearly all of them at this point in time. Big stage, bright lights, and yet again, the brightest star, the notorious Conor McGregor. Congratulations on a big win here tonight.